Good morning from Sahara. I wanted just to give you a three minute view of the cards for Stacey Abrams. As you know, in previous YouTubes, several of them, uh, starting a year ago, I began to have dreams about a black woman leader rising in a deep red state. So when I saw Stacey Abrams on the news, I was like celebrating in my heart. And I really feel that because she showed so prominently in my flash, and I've explained how, well, my flashes, they're, they're uh, flashes in my mind's eye as I'm waking up. And they always surprise me. They're not particularly anything on my mind. So I, and I've talked a lot about the yugas, Y-U-G-A-S, and how they show that we have entered the age of Aquarius. And these things will be more common. So pay attention to your intuition and your dreams. So today, um, this is an update on Stacey Abrams in Georgia. And because I saw her so clearly in a couple of dreams uh, starting last year, um, I do feel that she is going to uh, win. But the winning is going to be so tough. Uh, and. She's laying groundwork, of course, uh, which, you know, if you think about it, even someone like Rosa Parks just laid the groundwork for big changes um, and she wouldn't get off the bus. <laughs> I have a feeling Stacy is of the same te pe temperament. You know what's so funny? Um, I got a little tiny connection with... Tina Turner and Stacey Abrams. And you know, um, Tina was from Flatbush, Tennessee. I guess a, a, they're, they're kind of sister states. So, and I, a little problem with my tri tripod. So, here we have the Two of Swords in the past. This woman is a fighter. And all she's done is have to stick up for herself and other people. So this is a major disagreement in impasse. You're not gonna, you're not gonna um, litigate yourself around this. It's just continued uh, argument. That's the past. Present, we're fighting. Something has been stolen by some bullies. You know. That's what this is. And in this type of conquest, once again, nobody wins. You can win the battle but lose the war. There is no winning. And no matter if you if you won or you lost, everybody loses. And really in some of these things that's the way it works. Now this is the seven of wands. So this is here you gain ground. You have gained ground, and uh, you can win, but the defense is kind of rough. I saw this as uh, a reenactment of our early beginnings in the Boston Tea Party, 1773. It began the Civil War, and it said, no... <laughs> This, this was about taxation without representation. Well, may I ask you what is going on in South and in Georgia? You're not being, not able to vote. This is what you're pissed about. You better give us a voice. So they went to the, they threw the tea in the water and, and hence um, the tea party. But the tea party is about, uh, we want we want to claim our rights. So, you know, when I saw an image of the Boston Tea Party, 
I couldn't quite figure out the connection between that and Stacy. So now it becomes clear to me now. So I will say I'll let you go. Um, this shows that Stacy will win, but the price is very high. Uh, so let me let me move along and see if she doesn't pop up on my radar later on.